Attention mortgage industry, whether you're an executive, this had executives on the show, whether you work for an executive, I didn't see many of you in the audience. This is about your leaders. You should be knowing more about this. There is nobody else bringing this message to you. So tap the person to the left of you, give an elbow to the person on the right, tell somebody on a Zoom, you have to start watching these episodes. We're the only ones telling you what's happening in the industry you're working in. It's important to you. Shots are fired across the NBA right now as one of our leaders goes out and says, is the directional input for what the, our leadership is doing actually going to help independent mortgage bankers? We heard several points of view today on what is it that is going on in our industry? Are people who are being laid off and the future of the mortgage industry and the people that are working inside of it, are they scared for their jobs? Are they, going, are they really going to be helped when they are laid off? We have more technology, but yet we have more people wanting to check the checkers checker. Now there's like one, two, three, four, five layers of checking the checker just because Fannie and Freddie want more and are asking for more. And quite frankly, might be even greedy in checking the labor of what mortgage companies and independent mortgage bankers are doing right now in order for them to produce and manufacture a qualified mortgage loan. And so what are we doing and what are you doing within our trade in order to help that? We should be attending more of what the MBA is doing right now so that instead of dividing what we are doing at multiple conferences, actually attending the conferences that make a difference so that we can make a difference within our trade so that we can actually reduce the cost, but at the same time, improve the work efficiency of the independent mortgage banker employee. So if you're a leader of an IMB, what are you doing about it? And what can we do to work together so that we can make a better industry in the mortgage industry for ourselves? Truth bomb, truth bomb, truth bomb coming in everywhere. And we started it last night where I said, look, they want you to look out on that distance there. They want you to see the sun set. They want you to see the ocean. They don't want you to hear the voice in front of you. And Jay Promisco from what he did at Housing Wire Annual, and he's taken it on here. Greg Shear as an executive is the voice of mortgage because he felt the void. Again, they wanted you to see that this conference is over here and over here and right in front of you is advocacy and how many people are you sending? And what is the whole point of this? The whole point is the industry could have done better. There's some vendors that were leeches or are leeches from a fiscal standpoint, right? Or maybe from a time management standpoint. Are there certain areas where we're bullish on predictions and how this is still in the top 12 years coming forward with less people in it, but how long is it going to take to get there? And are we going to do the right thing this time? And what is the right thing? And Greg Shear gets into that about today and tomorrow. He talked about the green circle and what it means to him, but also have we done a disservice to this industry on the fact that you look at postings and he talked about a message he had where somebody's applied to 1400 jobs and has only got like 30 interviews because they walk out with the ability to lead teams, the ability to handle and de-escalate customer service. But have they, do they know how to use Salesforce? Do they know how to be a scrum master? Do they know agile workforce? Have they led a team of five or more people in an environment of XYZ? It's, it's the tale of two mortgage executives, but both saying what nobody else will say. And Jay Promisco said it right. And, I, and it happens to me too. But after years and years and now over a decade I've, I've just finally said you know what we're gonna bring it raw and that's gonna be my piece and will i not be able to get a job from uh fortune 500 i don't know i used to feel that way that's why i never said anything and i think that's why most executives just in case because at the end of the day they're financial planners they rely on capital markets something could happen a hedge could go wrong they could be leading the best company with the best culture and then they have to go work for somebody else and they always let a company themselves or they need to go get investment and if they burnt somebody i guess that's why they don't have a voice and i think listen to our show keep following because there has to be somewhere in between was my takeaway but they're not wrong but it's part of the world i think where you're looking over here and you're looking over there and you can just come to our show and listen to the voice in front of you and it will start to amplify louder and louder.